Governor Brown's climate change goals for California include a 50% reduction in petroleum use in vehicles by 2030 as part of a strategy to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 40%. CDFA's Division of Measurement Standards is playing a key role through its regulation of hydrogen and other alternative fuels as more vehicles are developed in this realm. It's a typical morning at this auto mall outside of Sacramento, but the car that potential buyer Tom Hu is checking out is far from ordinary. So I read the news when the run unit has only created the water, right? That's Generated. correct. Isn't it uh -huh. interesting? So every time we refill, you can how, how many miles you can drive it? Roughly 312 miles on a full tank. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, with their increased range over battery-powered electric cars, are being hailed as the game changer in green driving. For industry veterans like Glenn Rombach, it's the culmination of decades of research and development. I'm ecstatic about it. It performs as good or better than the same kind of model and packaged car that we're all familiar with. And you get to refill it in the same manner that we have done for 100 years. For many consumers, this convenience in refueling gives fuel cell cars a distinct advantage over other electric vehicles. A battery electric vehicle, all of the electricity comes from a battery, which you simply charge and discharge when you're driving. A fuel cell vehicle has a battery, but most of the electricity comes from this fuel cell system that actually makes electricity as you're driving down the road from hydrogen stored in the tank and oxygen from the air. So instead of charging the vehicle, you fill it up with hydrogen gas and then it actually makes electricity as it drives down the road. So right now, it's really the infrastructure that's limiting how many cars they can put in the hands of consumers. The consumers are there, we're just trying to catch up with the infrastructure so that they can have a convenient place to refuel their cars. Just like the cars, these fueling stations are also packed with new tech. Delivering hydrogen accurately, it turns out, presents its own challenges. Hydrogen is harder to measure as it's being dispensed than gasoline or electricity. They're very small molecules going very quickly through a very small pipe, and measuring those accurately turns out to be a bit of a challenge. The California Department of Food and Agriculture, in its traditional role as a regulator of weights and measures, has been a key player in tackling these new challenges. In this inconspicuous vehicle, we have the one-of-a-kind hydrogen field standard which was developed by the National Renewable Energies Laboratory in Golden, Colorado, and designed and built to CDFA Division Measurement Standard specifications so that we could accurately test hydrogen measuring devices throughout the state so that a consumer can buy hydrogen with full confidence knowing that they're getting exactly what they pay for. Now we've all seen that seal or sticker that's on every gasoline dispenser or diesel dispenser in the state that has, says Department of Food and Agriculture. That seal certifies that that dispenser has been tested and certified to its accuracy tolerances as a requirement in law. This device is designed to serve that same function for hydrogen gas measuring devices. A second thing that CDFA is working on, which is equally important in my mind, is ways to guarantee the purity of the hydrogen fuel as it's being dispensed, because the hydrogen fuel cell systems in the vehicles are sensitive to certain impurities, especially sulfur and carbon monoxide. This is a hydrogen fuel quality laboratory at CDFA Division Measurement Standards. We developed this laboratory over the last couple of years to sample, test, and analyze hydrogen to the very tight specifications that are necessary to operate a fuel cell effectively and safely. Safety is often a concern with any new technology, and fuel cell cars are no exception. Just the word hydrogen is enough to make some people wonder, is it safe? You know, in terms of the hydrogen in the name, I think, you know, there, there may be some people that think it's, it's some kind of nuclear reaction, but in terms of combustibility, it's as safe as, as compressed natural gas, as, as safe as anything that's on the road now. We think it will be at least as safe as gasoline. It offers great environmental and social benefits. So we'd encourage people to be open-minded about it if they do hear that a hydrogen station might be coming to their community. Um, hopefully they will recognize that and maybe be among the first to be able to drive these cars. The goal in California is for 100 fueling stations to be online by 2020 the so-called critical mass necessary for large numbers of consumers to switch over. 
that will be great news for the environment. In the case of the hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, only water comes out of the tailpipe. And so if you make a third of the hydrogen from renewable resources, whether it's solar power, wind power, or biogas, even if you're using two-thirds natural gas to make the rest of the hydrogen, it's still a very clean, low-carbon fuel, probably giving you about a 60 to 70 percent reduction in emissions compared to a conventional vehicle. Everything also can be operated from It right. really has made uh, selling cars meaningful to me. Getting the, the gas-burning cars off the road and moving into hydrogen is, is a, just a terrific uh, goal. I'm so excited to be on the, uh, the forefront of this.